Hello and welcome to the Dr. Mumbi Show, another episode of Prophetic Sundays. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. Now, you know, before we start with the message I have today, which is pretty heavy and which I've been feeling for quite a number of weeks now, I just want to give all thanks and praise to the Most High. Thank you, God, for getting us this far. Thank you, God, for what you've promised us, the new season that is coming. Thank you, God, for preparing us, our hearts and our minds, and for this short season of delay that we've had so that we could get our houses in order. Lord, have mercy on this nation. Don't allow Satan to take as many people as he wants to take. May those who have an ear hear, O Lord, and lead those, lead your saints to this show so that they can get their houses in order. Amen. And, you know, before I even get into it, the day of the Lord is coming. The day of the Lord is coming. Now, in two days, uh, actually, I think on Monday, it will be the 70th anniversary since the formation of Israel. And I've always told you, God works according to the clock of Israel. And, you know, there's so many guys who get in touch with me and they say, oh, you know, the Jews in Israel aren't the real Jews. They're the Kaiser Jews. They're the serpent people, etc., etc." A lot of people even quote, quote um, there's a verse in Revelations where it says that. A lot of people quote it. Quote it. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to find it now. But, you know... Oh, yeah, here. It says, I know your works, tribulations, and poverty, but you are rich. And I know the blasphemy of those who say they are the Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. Um, so, you know, a lot of the, the children, the lost children of Israel, a lot of the remnants who are part of the lost tribes of Israel have been deceived for so long about their true identity. They've been made to believe that they are the Gentiles when they are, in fact, the children of God who this book is for. And a lot of them won't be ready for the day of judgment that is now upon us. And I want to just, you know, let me just quickly say it. Jesus was black. You know, the children of Israel were black. They look like you and me. And, you know, God is coming for his people and you and I are his people. And it's time for us to wake up. Wake up and smell the coffee, as they say. And, you know, there's so many videos online that you should check into who were the lost tribes, who are the children of Israel. And, you know... I just pray, pray to the Holy Spirit to also reveal the truth to you. I will be doing a couple of videos in the future, but now there is an urgency to this message because we're about to hit the 70th birthday of Israel and we need to awaken and get our houses in order. And, you know, I want you guys to turn with me to Joel um, chapter 2, verse 1, which says, actually verse 1 and 2, which says, Blow the trumpet in Zion. Zion is Africa, guys. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming, for it is at hand. A day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, like the morning clouds spread over the mountains. And it's ironic that, you know, the sun has just come out on me. But really, guys, it's time to get our house in order because God is coming. You know, Yeshua is coming for his people and we are his people. And for so long, um, you know, we have intermingled with all kinds of people. And that's why Africa has been in judgment for so long, because there's so much idolatry. There's so much idol worship. There's so much sorcery and witchcraft. There's so much ancestral worship that has bound us as a continent and you know the thing is that the children of Israel are mixed in with the children of Africa and we're all just you know all just intermingling and our so much in history was whitewashed to hide our true identity and to hide our true nature but this is a season when we who we really are will be revealed but the thing is that so many of us have become so corrupt, you know. And one thing we have to realize is that we are in the last day's dispensation. And you can see that um, because, you know, there's rumors of wars. There's wars that are about to break out. There's so much strife. We are back to the days of Noah where, the, you know, like here in Kenya, we've just been told. There's a recent report that came out that said 
that Kenya has overtaken Nigeria in the practice of witchcraft and occult. And the reason people are doing that is because, you know, people are in desperate times. People are, are so bound by demonic spirits and by, you know, spiritual wickedness in high places. I've talked about this. I don't know how many, how much more I could talk about it, about how Kenya is bound by, you know, a Shara, the goddess of the sky, which is one of the most powerful, you know, principalities out out there and from this you know this wickedness has seeped into the nation also our land is so defiled from all the innocent blood that has been poured by political elites as well as by people just wanting to get rich sacrificing their parents sacrificing their children time and time again and so you know the defilement is underneath us and the defilement is on top of us and we are trapped and this tells you that the day of judgment is so close and, you know, I just want to appeal to you wherever you are. It is time to get your house in order. It is time to get your house in order because the wrath of God is about to hit this nation of Kenya. The wrath of God is about to hit the continent of Africa. And the wrath of God is about to hit the entire world. Will you be one of those that survive? You know, and in such perilous times, the only way to survive is to be fully under the Holy Spirit. And, you know... I wanted to just say, you know, get your house in order. Know who your personal savior is. Declare Yeshua as your personal savior. Plead the blood over your life. Plead the blood over your family. You know, pray for your family's salvation. Pray for those who have not accepted Yeshua as their Lord and savior. Pray that they will, you know, they will have, they, that their eyes will be opened and that they will see the truth of, you know, of the risen Christ and what we worship, who we worship and why you know because god has been preparing us god has given us so many signs god has given us so many you know prophetic voices that are keep saying repent change your mind about your life change your ways change your heart forgive release so that you're not left behind in the great move of god because you know what before the great move of god comes there will be judgment and the only way to escape that judgment is under the power of the Holy Spirit, which means you must get your house in order. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Dr. Mumbi Show. By the way, guys, don't forget to subscribe. And thanks to all the guys who have um, subscribed. Thanks to all the people who are praying with me, praying for me, and praying for this nation we call Kenya. We really do believe that God is about to, you know, he is about to make a move. And we've been waiting for that move for so long. I think I've been talking about that move, you know, for nine months. I'm like a pregnant woman just waiting for this birth to happen. But judgment is about to hit this nation because we can't go on like this. And, and revival can't hit, you know, can't hit such a defiled land. And so, you know... <sighs> How do I even say this? Really, have you, th there's been, have you seen the rain? The rain that has been happening over across the nation of Kenya. And it is uh, relentless. And it is not going to stop until revival hits. And this rain is symbolic of the Holy Spirit trying, trying to wash this nation. Trying to clean this nation up. And okay, we're seeing it just now naturally. But it is also going to happen, start to happen on all the seven mountains that I've talked about. Particularly the mountain of government. We are about to see a huge cleanup in the mountain of government. We're about to see a huge cleanup in the mountain of media. We're about to see a huge cleanup in the mountain of economics, the ill-gotten wealth that people are prospering, that, you know, the sa Satan's people are the ones who are riding high. Satan's people are the ones who are prospering. Those who sacrifice people, those who worship demons are the ones who are doing well. That is coming to an end. And you know what? We can't even fight this on a physical level. We can only fight this on our knees. And I pray that, you know, God will give you the grace to persevere, especially the intercessors, because we've been hit so hard recently. And that is just a sign that we are in the darkest hour before the dawn. So I plead with you, get your house in order. Pray for God also to open up your eyes, because, you know, there's so many workers of iniquity around us. There's so many workers of iniquity in our homes, so many aunts and uncles. You know, Karagain, just here, 
with their two sorcery vibes so that they can steal stars of of the saints and steal the blessings of the saints so many so much warfare is being fought um on the spiritual realm as you know as demonic angels contend with the blessings of the children of god and i'm just praying you know pray specific prayers that god will remove the wool from your eyes and remove the wool from your family's eyes so that you can see those who are attacking you you know in your sleep those who are attacking you in your dreams those who are working behind the scenes and at night to just corroga so that you can't move so that your life stagnates so that you become an addict of alcohol so that you you know the 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 family curses continue and i you know the only way to win this battle is on our knees and God is also fighting for us in a mighty way and so i really want to appeal to you don't get tired of praying for this nation don't get tired of praying for this family but also know judgment day is close judgment day is close and you don't want to miss this great move of god because you were ignorant and you know we hear god say you know my people perish for a lack of knowledge pray that the holy spirit will open up your eyes will open up all those people who are connected to you through the umbilical cord will open up their eyes so that you are not caught flat-footed and unaware these are perilous times we are in an end time dispensation and you know particularly for the intercessors the prophets you know the men and women of god who have been raised up at such a time as this you are the last you know um you know in a relay the way you have the four people you are the last man in this relay you cannot afford to drop the baton you cannot afford to to relax stay prayed up guys so that you know we're almost in the remember the days of pharaoh where you know god um in where moses where, where god instructed moses to tell the children of israel to put the blood uh, you know the blood of the lamb on their doors so that the angel of death would pass over them well the blood of the lamb now is yeshua the christ it is his name you know it is the communion that we have he is the one who will make sure that the angel of death that is about to pass over this nation just passes through our family and does not touch us because we cannot continue. We cannot continue like this. Kenya belongs to God as God is coming back for Kenya. And judgment, you know, because those who hold Kenya have refused to let it go. So judgment is coming. Stay prayed up. Stay woke. Praise and worship. Pray for this new dawn. And you know what? Don't get caught up when, when judgment starts to hit those that you may know, that, you know, you may have worshipped that you may have supported because we can only save ourselves we can only save us and our families that is our only responsibility and even they have free will so we must pray for them god bless you god bless kenya a new dawn is coming but the darkest hour is before the dawn and we are entering that darkest hour now may god protect you amen